Hotel Agdell, 50 dirham for the night without any services. We're finishing off the P1506 off to the Tis and Tichka. Whoop whoop! bit of chaos, nobody knows whether we can go on or not. Still doing quite a lot of work on the uh, first stretch of this road. Snow. Let's go to Morocco, she said, be nice and warm. It's flipping snow there. It's the 16th of March 2023 and the motoromers are going to do the Tiz and Tichka Pass in Berber the difficult pass. Uh, we've just passed the highest point which is uh, 2,112 uh, meters over 7,000 feet and we're going to start doing the switchbacks. We actually did the P1506 from 8 Benadu so we haven't done the full um, N9 although this is the interesting bit. Come with us and watch us on route. Are you good to go, Mr. Davis? So don't call me Switchback Sam for nothing. <laughs> Let's do it.
can tell on this road how much work they've done. Lots of places where the old road is now barriered off. Uh, here's an example coming up actually. The old road going round the side there and this is the new road. And it's just a piece of cake. If you ever want worry about whether or not you should do the Tiz Antichka don't very easy Moroccan contraflow. No lights, just a load of people waving their hands. It's chaos. We're gonna get up here without scraping, money penny. Ah, we'll be reaped. was it. Quite a surprise, not what we were expecting at all. Uh, I expected en route to Marrakesh to be going uphill, not downhill. Um, the pass itself is about 38 miles and we've got 60 kilometers, that's about 36 miles to run to Marrakesh. So we're still on the N9, uh, although the Tichka Pass itself is probably over and done with. Our recommendations would be do it, it's really easy, it's quite pretty, although if you really want a beautiful, beautiful ride with stunning scenery, a slightly more challenging road, try the P1506 to or from 8 Benadou on the back roads. Avoid the N9. Uh, this road we absolutely adored, the P1506. That's it from the Tichka Pass, signing out for now.